come along with me on a journey to Paris, the city of romance and the art. This city is full of so much to do that you will never have time to see everything. Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower are just two of the many signature structures of Paris that you will experience with us today. Let's begin our journey. This is the Louvre Museum, one of the three largest museums in the world, along with the British Museum and the Vatican Museum. The Louvre Museum holds about 35,000 different works of art. It is very large and would take at least a week to go through all the artwork. So if you have certain pieces you're interested in, we suggest that you research the locations of them in advance to strategically plan out your time. The Louvre Museum has a long line of visitors, but if you buy the Louvre Fast Track ticket online, you can skip the waiting altogether. Also, if you plan on visiting several different museums, you can buy a museum pass and visit various museums in Paris at a more reasonable price. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, Liberty Leading the People of Delacroix, Nike of Samothrace, Venus de Milo, and the Coronation of Napoleon of David are some of the works of art that you certainly do not want to miss at the Louvre. Let's leave the Pyramid of the Louvre and move on to the Tuileries Garden. At the entrance of the Tuileries Garden, you have the famous Arc de Triomphe. This arch was created in 1805 by Napoleon. Let's take a walk around the Tuileries Garden by entering through the Triumphal Arch. The Tuileries Garden is located in the center of Paris, similar to how Central Park is situated in the heart of Manhattan. Many Parisians come to this garden to sunbathe and to relax. Look at all these people resting on the slanted chairs. This scenery is very telling and representative of the Parisian lifestyle. Perhaps you too could get a cone of gelato and try sitting in one of these slanted chairs to experience a brief moment of the Parisian lifestyle. Let's leave the relaxed atmosphere of the Tuileries Garden and head towards the famous Champs-Élysées Street. On our way to Champs-Élysées Street, we are passing Concord Square. In the middle of the square is an obelisk. This obelisk was a gift from Egypt in 1833, and it took four years just to transport it to France. Here, we have the fountain which appears in the film The Devil Wears Prada in the scene where Anne Hathaway throws her cell phone into the fountain. We're now at the famous Champs-Élysées Street. This avenue, the busiest one in Paris, has many attractions, from cafes and theaters to luxury brand stores. Your two-kilometer walk to the Triumphal Arch will not feel long as you experience and window shop each store along the way. This is also where the first location of the world-famous macaron store, La Dure, sits. There are also fragrance shops along the street that we recommend you to get some sprays in. The colossal Arc de Triomphe de la Trois is located at the end of the Champs-Élysées. Note that the under the ark is the tomb of the unknown soldier.
You can enjoy the full view of Paris from the top of the Triumphal Arch. You can even see Eiffel Tower and all 12 roads that stretch out from the arch. Next, let's visit the Paris Opera House. First opened in 1875, this opera house has featured countless operas and ballet performances and is also the main performance stage of the Paris National Opera Company. The interior of the opera house is even more luxurious and colorful than you could imagine. Its interior walls are filled with beautifully painted murals. From the carpeted floor to the sculpted high ceilings, every detail of the opera house will take you back to the 1800s. The opera house also provides audio guides in multiple languages for assistance, including English and Korean. Our last destination is perhaps the most symbolic one, the Eiffel Tower. Standing at 320 meters high, the Eiffel Tower is the only towering structure in Paris, so you can spot it from almost anywhere in the city. But one of the best spots to take a photo of the Eiffel Tower is the Palais de Chaillé. We recommend you to get your tourist shot here when you visit. After sunset, the Eiffel Tower is illuminated with lights. Seeing the night view of the Eiffel Tower is an absolute must during your stay in Paris. This concludes our journey in Paris, the city of romance and art. We hope you enjoyed this short adventure with us and hope that you will someday visit on your own.